What's up, Mortal fans? This is Dan Series, and in today's video, well, we're going to be reacting to the, a new trailer for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So, oh, the last trailer obviously will be God not long back. It was pretty good, and they didn't really show much of. But obviously, from the Super Bowl last night, we got ourselves a new one. So, hopefully, this one will show not too much, like spoilery way, but like a bit more to understand the plot a bit. Because I'm like. What's really going on? Is this all about Baron Zemo? Or is it all about Flag Smasher? Or obviously, because we know about the um, the US agent part, but it's like it's the bad guy part. Like, we don't fully know, but I remember this one might tell us like who's the big bad of this? Because obviously, Baron's got to be the big bad, but who knows? Might turn to Flag Smasher, but it could be a twist. Like no, it is Baron. But anyway, let's stop talking. I've got the volume up. I've got the trailer up. So let's have a watch. Ooh. So, who would like to start? Mm. Mr. Barnes, why does Sam aggravate you? Tish. 15 seconds to drop! So what's our plan? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Hmm. Ooh. Superheroes. Ooh. Oh. Cannot be allowed to exist. Oh. I have no intention to leave my work unfinished. Oh. Ooh. The wall's upside down right now. Oh. <gasps> Where do we start? Oh. <laughs> oh. I have a plan. What is it? It's just. Oh. 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 Wow, that was a um, <laughs> that was pretty cool, pretty pretty uh, interesting, and just like that kind of the answer I want. I uh, yeah, I think Baron is the mastermind of what's going on in this show because as you heard in the line, my work my my work is not finished like that kind of way saying, you know, so it is he is trying to um. Try to disassemble the heroes again, just like he did in the um, Captain America Civil, Civil War. But let's break down really before we get to that, break more bit about that. So what happens here? So it seems like it's like Bucky and Sa and Sam they've gone into a some kind of. Well, it's hard to say because I'm like, have they actually gone for one of those council meetings or you know whatever they call them? You know when they um. When two people are getting along, but then they try to get into one of these places and they talk to someone who can help them, you know, to make them be best buds and all that. But at first, when I look at this, I thought, oh, no, they're being caught by the government and they're being held right there. But now, look at how the woman goes like, let's, let's start, shall we, you know, all that. Obviously, it shows us a kind of new, new um, shots of them on the plane. <laughs> Still love it how Bucky... Um, when the woman's asking him what egg of it is, yeah, you know, like all that. I love with Bucky, like in the last trade, asked about to Sam, what's the plan then? And obviously, no plan. He just walks out. This shot looks amazing with Falcon flying in the air out of the plane. Now, this is pretty cool, how they've done the Marvel Studios uh, logo. So you've got one side, you've got like parts of Captain America's shield, and then obviously the logo, the outline is like all in blue, and then there's your logo. It looks pretty cool. We get a good view of a city. Now, obviously, this is um, this must be the city, like, because in the, um, obviously, the um, photos and, obviously, stories are on different sites are all saying, 
Obviously, this is a first look at a city that evolves with mutants. So, mm, this will be interesting. And I have been hearing that when they first brought that up. And would be interesting if we do get mutants in this show. I mean, some people keep thinking, oh, could Wolverine make a cameo in the very end? You know, the tease something in the what's coming. I mean, possible. I mean, could we get mutants in this? Possible. Once from the MCU, not like ones from the Fox universe. Because um, after what happened in the um, One Division last episode, I'm like, please tell me this isn't the one from the Fox universe. Because, because like I said, because of like I've said before, I don't think Kevin Feige would go with that route. Like, hey, let's just bring the Fox ones over here, and then they'll just be our MCU ones. No, that's a um, lazy whiting at it. That's lazy whiting, or that's lazy. You don't want to do that. Just create your own versions. I mean, and recast them. It's not hard. <laughs> but anyway, you know, obviously in the background you can hear um, obviously Baron Zemo, obviously saying about that we don't need heroes, you know all that. And then obviously we get a shot of Zemo, and then we get a shot off behind him walking on top of some um, cob, not cob, but uh, obviously like the containers, obviously the trucks have in the back of their truck. With Baron and does his mask, and obviously that's when he brings up about the um, it's time to fi it's time to finish my work. You know that kind of way. So yeah, so that so that does that does answer now. Like, what's his involvement in all this? So he's trying to complete his task that uh, he didn't finish in obviously Civil War. Still doesn't tell me that um, has he found out that oh his family is part of Hydra. But I've still got a funny feeling they will they will correct that Marvel because that was the one thing I hated about what they've done with this version so far, making it that oh. He's not. He doesn't. He's not with Hydra and all that. And you know, you know, they don't go into the family um, history like oh, like they find like a Cabo Iron Man finds out that oh, his dad was Hydra and he's the original Baron Zemo. So hopefully, maybe this show could correct it and fix that. Obviously, we get some new shots of Flag Smasher, a female version, and obviously she's attack. She's starting an attack. We got some soldiers. Can't make out what who the soldiers are. Bucky, obviously, um, he must be. This must be taking place in the same shot. Bucky there, so might be Sam. Maybe Sam's gone there. Well, Sam must be there, giving the medal. We got a picture of obviously Falcon looking at a Captain America poster, and he's got the shield with him because obviously now he's the new Captain America. So I think he's more thinking on the, um, you know, taking on the mantle. Like it could be hard, you know, all that. We get like an extra, like a new extended shot of this with Sam when he falls the shield to a tree. Where we get like an earlier start of it, like showing like him about to spin. Well, he does a spin and then obviously falls. And we got one looks like Bucky catches it. So I'd say he does a throw. So ooh, who knows? Maybe teasing that. Okay, maybe Buck could take the mantle one day. Because obviously that's what he does in the comics. We got a shot with the two of them together saying, well, what do we do now? So obviously they're going to try and make a plan like what we're going to do about the scenario that's going on. We're going to see him like at a party. So this must be at the city where they're at. So obviously maybe they're going to meet someone there. But if this is at the same country then it huh, doesn't end up well. And there, oh hang on. No, that was, a one, that was a missed shot. There you can see Falcon next to Baron Zemo and then Bucky fighting. Okay, so what the earth's going on there? Now that doesn't make any sense. If Baron and obviously if Bucky and Falcon are working with Baron, well, while well, Baron's working with them, then what was what was with the line saying about uh, oh it's we don't need no superheroes? It's time to finish my work. But it could be one of those that uh, maybe he's pretending to be a good guy and then he betrays them. I could see it like that. So yeah, like I said, Bucky's in the middle of a fight. Cuts to a scene with Falcon flying with missiles, trying to shoot at him. Oh, the flying looks good. Get a really close close shot of him. Kind of like, um, sort of like you get with I Iron Man when you see, obviously, a close-up of his face in the inside the suit. But I love what Falcon says about, I do have a plan, but I bet you he doesn't really. Or, or he's like, he's got a plan, but he hasn't fully know that pl that is the plan. I love Bucking going like, where's the plan? But, and then it cuts to Agent 13, and the bother them a shock like, You? And then, obviously, she's like, well, it's good to see you two again. 
We see her taking out a bunch of goons and looks like she's really kicking ass here. Obviously, we got a bit where Fal- Falcon comes in to take down, what was it, kicks her, um, fly kicks her, um, uh, flag smasher. Then, obviously, we got just a shot of this, super, obviously, a game with, a, obviously, US agent makes his appearance. We've always seen that one. More fights of Bucky in the same place. Looks like he flips someone and punches them. This one's interesting. Falcon flies into a plane, fly kick, fly kick someone. Yes, and then turns his um, obviously his rings into his shield, like sort of like what he did in Civil War in the beginning of the film. But this one is like obviously with new wings. It's like it's turned into a different type of shield, which that's pretty cool. What else? Oh, we got obviously the two of them, but Falcon and Bucky. Well, when Soldier making a one from some people on the bike, so that's. Ooh, so they must have gone into really big trouble. Falcon, obviously, with the, with the shield, and then he makes a throw, a throw at maybe Flag Smasher or Baron Zemo. Big explosion happens at the, um, obviously, where the um, truck containers are. So a big fight's going on there. Obviously, we got a bit with Bucky taking on some, obviously, Flag Smasher's minions, and then Flag Smasher comes in and beats him. Obviously, then he's hanging, obviously, at the side of the truck, but then, obviously, slides down because he couldn't hold on for long. Holding on to the bottom of the truck, and, f- obviously, Falcon comes by and goes, like, you got your ass put by a woman, you know, like that. And then, I think Bucky, tried- I think Bucky was going to swear, I think, but it's hard to make out what he was going to say. Then we see an extra, well, a extended shot of Falcon going under two trucks, which, that is amazing. Ho, oh, oh, pretty cool. Now, for the last shot, it's just the both of them staring at one another. It's back in that room where the whole trailer starts. And they're doing, like, a staring contest, like, who's going to bring first? No, you're going to bring. No, you're going to bring. And it's like, I love that woman's uh, word saying, they're like, for God's sake, I, you're acting like children, you know, and all that. And bring already, you know. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But, now nah, that's all it shows us. So, we might know the date. If oh, I'm trying to get that title up. Still the same day, obviously March the 19th, so that's pretty cool. Like I said now, that's a bit um, interesting then, because back to the year when I said about looks with Baron's by, obviously, Falcon and w- Winter Soldier, uh, there were some stories way back in se- when, obviously, set folders came out. People were saying, oh, Baron's, like, working with them. Like, them all three of them are working together. But I'm like, nah, Baron wouldn't do that. He's a villain. But now that doesn't make any... Now, this throws me off now, because I'm like... The trailer tells the trailer obviously when he, he's lying saying about you know no there's we don't need superheroes my looks like my work is not finished you know because it sounds like that oh he's tried to finish his work that uh, he thought he finished in Civil War but and then there with that shot now I'm like wait what's going on there is he pretending to be with him or or it could be or maybe it could be the scenario that maybe they're not working together, maybe they found him, they they were about to cuff him up and take him back to the UK. Not the UK, US. Come on, US. Take him back to the US to obviously to put him in jail. But then obviously something goes wrong and who knows, maybe all of them had to fight the goons because maybe they're not with Baron. Who knows, really? It's really a question on that for now. But nah, this looks pretty cool, and I can't wait to see how the show does. Really, I mean, One Division's doing good so far, so I'm like, if that, if he's like that, then Falcon Winter Soldier. Well, I know this one's gonna be different because One Division ain't much more. Well, there's a bit of action, but it's supposed to be more on the sitcom reality, whatever she's created. But with this show, it's supposed to be more of back to our oh, MCU reality, and obviously with action and all that. So it's gonna be amazing to see what he's like. But that's all for breaking da- breaking down the trailer, really. So you want to see that for yourself? I will leave the link down in the description below so you can watch it to- for yourself. Um, I'll see you um, if you like that video. Give it a thumbs up, and obviously, once you've seen it, leave a comment down below. So, what do you think is going on with Baron Zemo? Do you think um, is he pretending to be an ally to them, like I like I said, or is it just a scenario then they found him and then they just got caught by someone else? Or it might be a group that I heard that they're supposed to be fighting in the in this show as well. Something related to Wolverine, so I can't fully remember their names now, but yeah, it could be them really. Maybe they've just maybe they're not friendly with Baron as well. Maybe they ain't really allies with him. So that could be why. But now give your thoughts down below on the trailer, like what do you think? And you've got any theories from it? 
Obviously, um, share this out to your friends, so if they want to see a different YouTuber for once, show them one of mine. If they like it, they can subscribe to the channel. And if you are new to this channel, this is what I do. I do the Marvel and Transformers Cinematic Universe, well, the news. I know I haven't done them lately, but come on, I've really got to try and get, them, try and get back to do that, but uh, I don't know. Well, I'm hoping I can. So, But I do the news, I do um, Super Bowl TV spots. Well, this one was more like a trailer. I do... Um, well, I say clips, but I don't really. And then sport, and then the spoiler reviews. But on the film side, I was going to try. I did say I wanted to do it for One Division, but I might mainly do like an end and end a series, a season ending is spamer kind of thing deal, and for some little Easter eggs of reminders. Might might decide doing that in the end for these shows. But I mainly, but that's what I might do. But I will still, I do it. I'll still do uh, spoiler reviews for the film side, you know, for the Marvel or Transformers. And um, before I go as well, the last but not least, you want to see me last Marvel video, you can click here. My channel, make sure you click the bell, so you'll be notified when new videos are up. And here, to see me last uh, Transformers video. So that's really, guys. So, like I said, I do the um, news, I do the TV spots. I don't do the non, I don't do spoilery ones when it comes to trailers. No, I keep that up. I don't bust them because I want to be surprised. But yeah, that's all guys. So I hope you enjoy this reaction and breakdown very well for the Falcon and Winter Soldier trailer. You could call it Super Bowl trailer or you could call it trailer 2 really. So I hope you enjoy that. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Peace.